hi how are you welcome to another video and today i have a question how much do you know about romania so come on walk with me as i share what i've learned about romania for the time i've been here also please feel free to engage with me in the comment section down below and let me know what you think so romania is a beautiful country in the southeastern europe endowed with beautiful natural sceneries beautiful castles rich cultures and equally beautiful people its capital lies in the city of Bucharest, pronounced as Bucharesti. <laughs> I hope I'm right. I came across some videos of people classifying Romania with unsafe countries. Come on. But it is quite the opposite. Romania is very safe. I never felt unsafe at any one time and I even walked alone at night. So I don't know where they got that info but for me I felt Romania was very safe. I had the pleasure of interacting with Romanians during my stay and they are the friendliest. They are known for their hospitality. I have met the most welcoming people here and I've definitely been well fed. You had me right. They, they are very generous. <laughs> In almost every home we visited, we were given a homemade alcoholic drink. I think they are made from plums, grapes, and so on. And when you raise your glass to toast, be sure to say Norok or Sanatate for good health and for good luck. This has to be part of the Romanian culture because what are the chances that in every home there's that homemade brew? I think every grandfather or grandmother or uncle, they can all make that drink in Romania. I don't know, tell me. I was also surprised to learn that Romanians are actually the most religious in Europe. Yes, and about 80% of Romanians identify as Romanian Orthodox Christians. Yep, it's no wonder. I could easily spot an orthodox church in every few blocks. Have I mentioned the architecture of those churches? It is very incredible and so unique that you can actually easily spot them from anywhere. Fun fact, I noticed this myself. Um, when driving or when they are walking or when somebody is on a bike and they pass nearby a church, they will do the cross sign. Anywhere, they will say a small prayer and maybe just do a cross sign. Whether they are walking, just passing by i found that quite found that quite interesting in case this was not obvious the official language in romania is romanian and honestly this language sounds romantic to me listen to this bună ziua noapte bună ciubesc e bine patruzece șapte bebeluș copil se rumuna it sounds so romantic <laughs> and if you're new in romania don't worry because a lot of people here can understand English and especially the young generation they can speak English so it's okay. Other languages you may find spoken here are French, Hungarian, Italian, German, Spanish and Russian for the older generations. So let's talk about food. This just needs a whole video on its own but to make it short Romanians are famous for their wide array of dishes and they have this soup called chorba i swear the day i learn how to make that it's over for everyone because it's, it can be made in so many ways and apparently every region in romania has their way of making it it's like a famous dish in romania however my favorite one is michi for everyone who knows me michi is my way to go like michi is that for me <laughs> i love michi uh, let's talk about romanian weddings these are a whole vibe yo weddings start let's say on saturday morning and they end almost sunday morning yes i have watched a video from one of our friends and it felt like watching a movie like the whole thing was their weddings are a movie <laughs> at one point in the night the bride was kidnapped from the hall where they were they were doing their reception and the groom had to pay a ransom for her to for her to be given back to him that was quite interesting and also i think one thing i like about romanian weddings is you have to give to the newlyweds an envelope with money inside and not less than 400 lays or 80 euros i mean to start them off it's really good and i can say that i would love to attend a romanian wedding so i am here ready to attend an, a wedding so my friends <laughs> Um, my team in Romania has truly converted me to a Manele songs fan. Something about that kind of music 
really gets me. I don't know why, but there's something about Manele songs. And that's it, period. I'm not saying anymore. <laughs> so something else I noticed, smoking is a normal thing. More like, um, it's like a European culture thing. It's a very normal thing. And it is not frowned upon like how we do it in the African society. Because smoking is a big thing in Africa. But here it's like somebody wakes up for breakfast they're having a cup of coffee with cigarettes and then they will eat later but it's a very normal thing for people to smoke something else i found in romania um when they drive uh just be careful on the road because i think they drive quite interesting i'm trying not to say they drive crazy but i'll say they drive quite interesting and if you're not an experienced driver i don't know how you do it but i actually don't know if i'll be confident to drive in romania maybe it will take me some time yeah and romania is still not in the schengen they've been working on that for i don't know almost 12 years now so hopefully they can be in schengen soon because it will be such a good thing and then i found that um it's good to learn a few romanian words especially when you're staying here because you may need to say hi to neighbors and the cashiers for general politeness, right? Just good to know because they will say hi to you. And if you don't know how to say hi back, it's not so nice. So it's good to learn some few Romanian words. And if you're staying here permanently, then you just need to, to learn the language. And if you find yourself in Bucharest, be sure to visit the palace or the parliament, the heaviest building or the second heaviest building in the world. And be sure to go see the dancing fountains. Oh, that was so breathtaking. And something else I noticed with Romania, they have put playgrounds for kids to play in every neighborhood, in every block, in every few blocks, like th let's say three or four blocks, there's a playground for kids with benches, with swings and slides, which is quite uncommon when you come from countries like we have. So I found that quite interesting. And there are benches all over the street. I'm sure you've seen that from the video. The benches all over the streets, anywhere, outside outside every apartment with a bench, which is really nice and convenient, especially for the older generation, because you may you may be walking and you get tired, you want to sit there, or you maybe you're tired of staying in the house, you want to go out and just breathe a little, just sit on the benches. And lastly, I found Romania to be very clean, very, very clean. Of course, I saw this uh, truck, I don't know the name of the truck, it comes at night and cleans the streets and also i feel like people don't don't trash as much as where i come from because it's rare that you find trash on the road so romania is quite clean and people actually take care of it also so i would highly highly recommend there are so many good things in romania if you can come visit if you can come stay romania is a good place to be in if you found this video to be helpful or informative in any way please 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 don't forget to comment don't forget to like subscribe and share with a friend right and i appreciate you so much until next time la revedere